All right, what's up, you guys, man? Thanks for checking out Live to Drive. I'm back with another video, and today I got Cadillac ATS. Got the key right here. That's what it looks like. I'm sitting in the car right now, man, because it's type cold outside. Like, this is really cold outside, so I'm letting it warm up. Got the heat, heated seats going on, heated steering wheel, so I'm trying to get toasty real quick. But we go start it off a little bit different. We go do the interior, then I'll work, wake our way outside because i don't want to be outside too long you know so as you can see we got the tan interior going on let me make sure this is yeah. okay so as you can see we got the tan interior going on we do have a sunroof as well you can see a little bit with the glass and stuff and then I'm going to just talk about my seating position right now before I show the whole interior. But right now, the, seat, the seating position is pretty cool, man. It's pretty nice. It's pretty relaxed. The, these are bucket seats. The bolstering is not that aggressive like it would be like in a sports car, uh, like a, a Corvette or something like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's not that type of bucket seats, but it's okay for the Cadillac. You know, Cadillac is usually more on a luxury end so with the ats they did try to make it a little bit sporty uh besides you know the ctsv i'm gonna try to get one of those too for y'all but yeah so seating position is comfortable it, it is a bucket seat so um you're not gonna be sliding around like that if you hit in corners this is two liter twin turbo well yeah so, it does have heated seats, as I mentioned before. It does have heated steering wheel. Of course, it has memory seats. I'm going to go over that. And, uh, yeah, so let's go ahead and switch this camera around, give y'all a full view of the interior. And look at the beard. Ooh, go crazy. All right, you guys. So, please excuse the glare. Like, it's, it's kind of crazy. Like, I'm, the sun is really right in front of me. So, here's the steering wheel. Like I said before, it is heated. It's leather wrap as well. Tan. On the left-hand side, you have your heated seats control. Well, your heated steering wheel control. You have your phone settings. And then you have your cruise control and your voice-activated system. Then on the right-hand side, you can control, you know, your radio, skip, up and down um, buttons. And you have your volume control buttons. And this little thing here, which allows you to control the instrument cluster. Which is right here. Got 160 on the dash. As you can see, we super low on gas. And then you got your um, RPMs on the left-hand side. And, you know, your gas and your temperature gauge on the right-hand side. But as you can just go through the functions with the little knob on the right-hand side of the steering wheel, you get to go through all type of settings. You have all type of different settings on here. You can go to any and everything. So yeah, that's what that looks like. That's what the instrument cluster looks like. And then right here on the door, got your kind of like wood grain material. And then you have, of course, your normal chrome door handles. Up top here, you have leather. And then underneath it, you have suede. And right here will be your mirror settings. Well, to just to fold your mirrors in. And I could try to do it, but it's like, snow is like right there so i don't think it's gonna fold but then you have your your seat settings as well so there you go and then of course your normal functions right here which is your windows your mirror controls and you get to lock and unlock the windows little cubby hose down here and as you can see right there you do have a bose sound system in the vehicle which is always nice coming to the center console area Trying to block out this sun. You got your heated seats. You got your regular uh, temperature uh, buttons. A lot of people end up pressing like the, I guess you would call it chrome. It's not really even chrome, but a lot of people press this, but it's actually like touch, like just by the touch. So you actually touch the actual symbol itself, as if you would say that. Let's cut that off. And then got the nice five inch screen right there. Also touch screen. You can go to your navigation. Sorry about this glare, man. 
me see if I can fix it. I don't know. But you can go to your navigation. You can go into um, the temperature settings. You actually can connect it to your phone as well. And then you can control the sound system as well. And that's about it. This right here is push button start. That's pretty sweet. You got a speaker up here, you have speakers in the door, you have tweeters right here. And up top you do have all your functions as well. On star, of course, for the sunroof. And then, you know, your lights and all that stuff, typical stuff. Okay, a little bit more. I think you got your heated and cool seats. Of course, you got a little compartment here right before the gear shift you can stick something in there and also charge your phone and then of course you have the automatic transmission i believe this is an eight speed automatic transmission with the triptronic so what that means is you can put it in drive and you can smack it over to the left and you can pretend you're in a stick shift and switch the gears manually you also have the automatic stop start button which you can turn on and off have traction control and you can control the mode that you're in so let's see what this does press mode and then you go into press mode and you can go into tour sport mode and snow and ice mode we're just going to leave in a sport mode for now and then of course as i said traction control on and off have your cup holders here and your center console you could plug something up it's really not that deep at all like you can probably just put some tissues or something small in there not that and going over to the passenger seat as you can see the glove department the wood grain goes all over the interior so does the suede and of course the tan leather here up Here's a picture, a view of the seats, the bucket, excuse my book bag is right there. And of course the famous little, I don't really know what that is, like a, kind of like a V, but you know, everybody who know Cadillac always know once they see that there in the Cadillac. And here's the back seat. Let's go ahead and look at that. Looks pretty spacious. I'll hop back there, of course, and check it out. Let me turn this camera around. Anyhow, I think I pretty much showed you guys everything <laughs> of this interior. This interior is pretty nice, but plain at the same time. Considering it's tan, I really don't personally care for tan anymore. Like, that was kind of nice back in the day. But now, since we have so many other interior colors, I will most definitely pick another one. But tan always look okay on the Cadillac. But, like I said, it's kind of it's kind of boring and nice at the same time. Only thing really nice about it is the center console area or the entertainment area whatever you want to call it just with the big screen and the touch touch tone of the uh, features other than that not really that exciting i'm not really that impressed with this cadillac so let's hop outside in the freezing cold and uh check out the exterior and let's go over some let's go over the motor see what's under the hood so let's get on that Alright you guys, so here we go. Like I said, 2016 Cadillac ATS 2. liter, 2.0 liter turbo, right? So this is, as you can see right there, an 8 speed automatic. And then, you know, not that much horsepower. So let's get up under the hood and check it out. Alright you guys, here's the engine bay here's under the hood of the Cadillac ATS 2016 2 liter twin turbo this is what it looks like underneath nothing really spectacular it is direct injected as most Cadillac engines are this one right here will save you gas it is pretty good on gas I don't know the correct and uh engine horsepower or torque so i'm not even really gonna throw out on numbers you know type of embarrassing but that's what that looks like this color we have right now is crystal white so as you can see 
it's pretty nice. Let me flash the headlights real quick. But this is what it looks like. I like the grill. If you get the one with all the bells and whistles, you will have fog lights at the bottom. This one does not. But the headlights always stand out on Cadillacs. So pretty dope. And then you have the chrome wheels, of course. All right. The Cadillac symbol, of course. These are Michelin thing. Have your little side markers here. So when you're turning and all that stuff. It's pretty much plain, man. It's not nothing really spectacular for this Cadillac ATS. The back end always look nice. Let's go ahead and pop the the back of it. And you have a pretty much ooh, a lot of storage area low key. Look at all of this stuff. So that's where your battery is. But here's all the floor mats and stuff. Underneath you have your spare tire right little area there. Come with this little nice little basket. And then the door right there. That means you can just put stuff from the back seat into the trunk. So that was pretty decent. But yeah, this is the Cadillac, man. It's pretty much covered in snow, but give you a look from the passenger side and the interior. And yeah, that's this is what it looks like. Hop in this back seat. Got your vents down there. Two charging outlets for your phone. Is what the back seats look like. It's a pretty decent car. Get you from point A to point B with the American Cadillac style. Woo, it's cold. All right, so look, a few things I'm about to point out about this Cadillac behind me. One thing I did not like is how hard it was to find the freaking uh, lever to pop the dang hood. It's so far tucked underneath, it's like ridiculous. Second thing I really didn't like is, like I said before, it's kind of bland. It's kind of it's kind of boring in the interior. Like that tan color wasn't really popping, but tan and white is always nice, but just not really on this one. Another thing, 2.0 liter twin turbo. I'm really not a fan of that motor, but you know, to each his own. Like I said, it's very good on gas. It's a, a I guess, driver friendly motor. You know, to, like I said, to each his own. And last but not least, this Cadillac is a Cadillac, so it should really pop. But to me, it's not really popping. And, hey, my skin really looks clear. But uh, yeah, it's not really popping. And uh, that's that's just what it is. I don't really know. I really I really want you guys to comment down below on this video. Let me know. Am I tripping? Like I'm really just not feeling this Cadillac. I'm gonna try to get some more. Hopefully, I can get that long sleeve Cadillac truck and review that for you guys. But there's the Cadillac. Here's me. Thanks for watching Live to Drive, man. I appreciate the views. Please most definitely subscribe. Tell your friend, tell a friend, and tell a friend to check out my channel. Hit that like button so other people can see it. And uh, I'm going to catch you next video. I'm out.